Hello, David O'Connell here. Um, sorry if I'm all, you know, wet. <laughs> Just got home from seeing a, an old friend and um, took a shower because, you know, I was sweating and all dirty. So, where I... Well, I, I live in a city called Plaxburg, New York. Been here almost my entire life. Um, and we have an old uh, Air Force base that was around from the late 1950s until about, well not until about, but they uh, shut her down back in 1995. Um, and even when the base was still in operation, there was a lot of buildings that were either confirmed haunted or they were you know, supposedly haunted. So where my friend who I went and saw lives, she lives next to the uh, Plaxburg or the, the city recreation department, the city gym on the base, on the Oval. And that's one of the buildings that are supposedly haunted. Now, mind you, it was like one o'clock in the morning and I left, I got on my bike, and as I was heading down the rest of the driveway towards um, the pretty much like the side of the, you know, the gym, I could see, you know, all the shadows of like the sides of the buildings. I could see my shadow behind me and hand, hand to God, I swear to God, I saw this, this figure. It looked to be maybe, I don't know, maybe about five foot two to maybe five foot five. And it was darker than, you know, the, the shadows. And I remember seeing just this slender body, hands were at its sides, and he had, or it, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but it had these kind of like wavy locks almost, like little curls, so maybe it was a theme, kind of like what my hair, my facial, whoa, Jesus, sorry, my, <laughs> my cat just freaked out, like, Lucy, hold on. Luce, what's wrong? What's going on with you? You okay? She's, fr <laughs> my cat's freaking out. What, Luce? Look, whoa, see, look at her. She's like freaking out all of a sudden. Now she's, Lucy! Sorry about my messy apartment though. It's, uh, it's been through worse. Where's, oh, there it is. Oh, she's, oh, see, here she comes. Look at her. Lucy, you okay? What's wrong with you? Hey, what's wrong? You okay? Look at her. She's, like, freaking the hell out. She does that a lot sometimes, like, I don't know, it's weird. But anyways, um, but I could see, like, the hair, and it kind of looked like the little curls right here in my beard. Right here. And, um, like, she's, she's still freaking out. Lucy, it's okay, girl. What, do you think something followed me home? It's kind of a funny story because on my bike ride, you know, once I eventually left her place, Lucy's freaking out right now. <laughs> she keeps staring behind me, like, legit. And all there is is my wall and my couch. I don't know. I mean, animals can usually sense, you know, the paranormal and stuff better than us humans can. Um, but like what I was just saying, and I remember seeing fingers, like full on fingers as well. And my first thought was, you know, it's my shadow. So I got off my bike and there was all these like street lights. There was a bike path that's all lit up. And my shadow was behind me, full on behind me, but this figure or whatever was in front of me, so I was like, okay, that's, um, that's a little odd. And so, <laughs> instead of rationally thinking and just getting out of there, because who knows, it could have been an actual person, um, I got back on my bike and I started biking ahead, and Jesus Christ, Lucy, Luce. 
okay. It's okay, girl. She is, she is just losing it right now. She won't even come near me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so then I started biking uh, forward, and there was these uh, windows, you know, super old windows. And I noticed from, like, the inside there was some light, and there was a door, like a full-on, just plain old door. No, excuse my French, so... hell was that? You heard that too? I don't even know if my phone even caught that. No joke. I just heard a, like, it honestly sounded like, like, something went like this, like, it was like a bang. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so when I noticed this door, hand to God, the, excuse my French, the fucking door opened. It actually, like, opened. Op not did just the, no, it went, like, full on as I biked by, and I thought, okay, maybe it was just, you know, I'm biking by, so I'm seeing things. And so I turned around, looked at the door, it was fully open. I was like, wait, oh, okay, nope, I'm out. Of course, me not thinking. I still wanted to try to figure out, you know, what I saw, what was going on, and as I was biking more forward, I, I don't know if it was the wind, because there wasn't even a breeze, uh, maybe enough to make one or two leaves just kind of like twitch, and I heard this weird, like, grunt, grunt, grunt or a groan, it was more like a, hmm. Uh, or something like that, and I hurt, and at, I, oh god, I can't even speak, I got so scared, I, like, because I was biking forward, I didn't even put my brakes on, I literally just spun, almost spun out, and I, I booked it, I was like, oh hell no, screw this, and then, um, I biked about maybe a mile and a half just back to my apartment, and I don't know if maybe it's just the trick of my eyes or I'm just losing it mentally, but the whole bike ride back home, I kept seeing these weird, like, like, quickly, like, pew, like, just, like, everywhere, these, like, black masses that were just going, you know, seven ways to, seven ways to Sunday, and even when I got inside my apartment, Lucy, my cat, very, very dear. She uh, came up to me and, you know, was all, oh, hey, human, what's up? And then she just kind of, like, stood there and she was staring straight up. And so I'm like, Lucy, hey. And just, she just kind of, like, you know, just, like, ever so slowly kind of backed off. But she wasn't looking at me. She was looking, like, behind me like she just was earlier. Um, so I don't know. Maybe something tried to follow me home. I don't know. Believe what you want. I know, I know what I saw. And it scared me enough to where, legit, I almost peed myself. Like, I had to call my friend who I just went and saw panting like a dog, you know, saying, you know, I just, I, like, you know, something happened. And she was like, are you okay? Are you hurt? I was like, no, 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 I'm not hurt. I just got the shit scared out of me. But, um, yeah, so that was a possible paranormal encounter. I mean, I've had stuff happen to me in the past, so who knows? I thought I'd take a video and just tell the world, tell who anybody even gives a crap about this. So, um, you know, hope you enjoyed this little nine-minute video. You know, check out my YouTube channel, like this, subscribe, do that whole stuff, and I'll talk to y'all later.